something I thought we should have uh, talked about earlier. So are Burrow and Herbert looking like superstars, making Tua look bad? And I would say yes. I would say to some extent, people. it's been warping people's like, mind just how good quarterbacks have been coming into the league. Mahomes, uh, Lamar Jackson second year, Kyler Murray, Burrow, Herbert. There's like five guys that have looked the part of – these guys are going to be really good for a long time. And when Tua comes out and he doesn't look like – a guy like that, immediately people are like, we should move on. And I think another reason is we saw what happened with the Cardinals. And I think it was it was an anomaly, let's put it that way, of them cutting bait with Rosen and then moving on to Murray. Uh, it was pretty un, unforeseen of that happening. Um, but, yeah, I think that's really one of the main reasons people are down on Tua. And I do think he's not the best either. Like I'll say, I don't yeah. think he's a top eight quarterback. But. No. Yeah, no, this is 100% true. It's unfortunate for Dol- for the Dolphins because Justin Herbert might have had the best rookie quarterback season we've ever seen, and he was drafted one pick after Tua, who I don't want to say Tua's bad because he's not. He's okay, but – Tua is not not anywhere near the talent Justin Herbert is. That's just a fact. Justin Herbert's bigger. Justin Herbert's stronger. Justin Herbert throws with more anticipation. Justin Herbert stands taller in the pocket. Justin Herbert's a way better arm. Justin Herbert's a more consistent thrower. But Tua's a good player. Like, Tua's not a bad player. I'm, I mean, Burrow, Burrow is special in terms of how Burrow processes the game, how athletic he is, how 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 well he moves. Like Burrow is also really special in his own way, and he, he even he because he doesn't have anywhere near the arm of Herbert, maybe yeah. looks a little bad because of Herbert. But yeah, I mean, it's not it's it's nothing against Tua, right? Tua's good. I think we talked about it earlier, right? Tua's solid. Tua's a really good player, or I, I don't want to say really good, Tua's good. He didn't have any wow moments, but he didn't have any terrible moments. The big thing I think people question with Tua, and it's because the Josh Rosen, Kyler Murray thing was like, yeah, Rosen was in a terrible situation, but Kyler Murray's ceiling is just so much bigger than Josh Rosen. And he took that exact same situation and made the Cardinals exciting. It's what is Tua's ceiling when you have a team that's possibly a Super Bowl team next year? That's the question. And I think it's a question that the Dolphins have to be asking themselves. In my opinion, I didn't like him a lot before the draft, so I don't think his ceiling is the highest. But I'm not the one who needs to answer that question. And if they yeah. win a Super Bowl with Tua, then I can just take my L. Like, okay, I was super wrong about it. But the Dolphins better be right about it because they have a top five pick and mm-hmm. there's some special quarterbacks in this draft. Yeah. And then there was one thing I wanted to put up real quick. So thanks for this, JR. Really appreciate it. Again, anyone that makes a donation, very, very appreciative of you guys even just supporting us in any way. Um, so that's awesome. But do you think Deshaun is the type of player that can have players take pay cuts to come play for that team? Do you think he is? Yes, absolutely. This is a one-word answer. Deshaun Watson is special. Deshaun Watson's personality is special. Deshaun Watson, who he is, is special. Forget the NFL stuff. He was, I mean, Clemson, he, Deshaun Watson is who put Clemson on the map. Like, they became this powerhouse with Dabo Sweeney and all of that, but the first guy that really put him on the map was Deshaun Watson. Like, just a special personality. What he did against Alabama in those two national title games, the toughness he showed, the poise he showed, the accuracy, all of that is really special. I'm By all accounts, Deshaun Watson's extremely well-liked. You can see why he carries himself with such poise, charisma. He's so well-spoken. And so, yeah, I, I absolutely think that people would 100% take pay cuts to play with Deshaun Watson. I disagree. I don't think they would. When have name one player besides Tom Brady that a lot of people have willingly said, "Okay, I'm going to get paid well below market value." Yeah, you want me to name one? Sure. Jimmy Garoppolo, Richard Sherman decided <laughs> that he wanted to come to the 49ers. That had an impact back no, in the day. It did not. It did not. He was coming <laughs> off an injury. That's why he got. No, it. he he was coming off an injury, and people questioned him because he was his own agent, and there were teams yeah. willing to offer more. And he signed immediately with the Niners, and he he said he he quoted Garoppolo as one of the reasons he signed. But okay. yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it is very rare for an NFL player who has a small shelf life and a very limited opportunity to make guaranteed money, which doesn't come easy for these guys, to take a pay cut. 
I think in an instance like COVID, it is possible. If he goes to the Dolphins, I guarantee you there would be guys that take a pay cut. But I think that's mainly because of COVID and just the cap being all screwed up, as well as in just an unreal opportunity if they had Deshaun Watson. But yeah, think, unbelievable. But Miami it, with Deshaun Watson, good oh, night. Good night. Okay. If Miami, Carolina, or hopefully the Niners, just because I'm a Niners fan, I'll throw them out. But if Miami or Carolina gets Deshaun Watson, holy cow. Holy cow. Yeah. And here's here's the other thing, too. Like, on the Texans, did you see anyone taking a pay cut to go play for them? If anything, they were taking just nah. But who would take a pay cut? Who would take a pay cut to to play for a team owned by Bob and Cal McNair with Jack Easterby existing in their organization? Exactly. Okay, that's fair. But yeah, like I said you just don't see players take a pay cut that often, and I don't blame them. I would not either. If your company said we're gonna have to pay you three thousand less dollars or however much. So we could hire other people. What would you say? I would say no. I'm not. Yeah. You know, how would I do that? Like it's human nature to you know take the most money you can get, and that's not a bad thing. That's. Just I mean, it is. I mean, you're right. I I'll concede you're you're right in what you say, but I'm I'm gonna say if there was a quarterback that people would take a pay cut for, he would be yeah. one of them. He is very well liked by it seems everyone in the NFL media or most people at least, and by a lot of other players. He would be one of the few exceptions I could say where I could see people saying, okay, I'm a veteran. I'm going to go ring chase. I want to play with this guy because I think he's special. That is definitely true. But it's just such a rarity in the NBA or in the NFL. In the NBA, it happens a lot. I mean, it's pretty crazy how much it happens. But they, they make, they make, they, those guys can make well, enough career money over a career. I mean, how much money is enough? I'm not the one to judge that. But I yeah. guess they can make enough where they can sit back and say, fair enough. Um, what's the weekly schedule when y'all stream? Honestly, it's whenever we get a chance. We try to do two streams a week. We usually end up doing one, but it's usually we try to get a weekend stream and we try to get a midweek stream. Um, I have spring break, not next week, but the week after that. So maybe we'll get two or three streams in then. Yeah. Just keep an eye on my Twitter. I'll tweet it out. Blake will usually post it on YouTube here. We're, so we're usually good about giving – posting it in the morning and telling you we're streaming in the afternoon. I mean, there's a couple things more coming up too. You guys asked for the phone. We'll definitely do the StreamYard phone. Um, we'll just see how many people want to do it. And if a lot of people want to do it, let's do it. 